I posted a video a few days ago asking if there was anybody you wanted to nominate for a Christmas gift from us. The response has been amazing. I've been sitting up at night reading your emails and I have to say I've been in tears quite a few times. 2020 has been a tough year for so many people, but what's really blown me away is the amount of love and empathy that there is for the people who have been suffering. There are too many emails for me to read them all out here, but I've highlighted a few sections just to give you a sense of what people are saying about their loved ones. I would just like to nominate my husband Richard. He is a self-employed heating engineer and has worked right through the pandemic. Firstly, because his governing body told him he should. Secondly, because his customers needed him. And thirdly, because his family need him to keep a roof over our head. I hope you can tell him both me and my son are hugely proud of him. Basically, I'd just be happy with a mention so he knows how proud we are of him, Sarah and Ray. Well, Richard, I would like to invite you and your wife and your son down to the yard, come and have a tour, and we'd love to meet you and introduce you to all the horses. I would like to nominate my 15-year-old daughter, Katie. The love of her life are horses and everything racehorse related. I would love for her to have a special present as she never asked for anything and has never once complained about me not being able to do what I want for her. Her last Christmas was spent calling ambulances out for me. I cannot put into words what she has done over the last year. She is amazing. Well, Katie, you sound really amazing. I would love to meet you and your mum down for a private tour of the stables. At the end of this video, you'll see a full list of all the people who have been nominated and what they'll receive. If you are one of the people who's listed, we've already been in touch with the person who nominated you to get some more details so we can send your prize out to you. As for Kian, who has been nominated by Dean Hawley, I believe you'll find your mum has one more present waiting for you. I'd like to nominate Kian Burley. He has overcome everything he's had thrown at him. He's always just got on with everything and done it all with a smile on his face. He's such a happy little boy who appreciates everything he gets. I can't think of a more deserving person to become a member of the racing club. Well, Kian, I'd like to officially welcome you to the Martin Smith Racing Club. And when you open your welcome pack, you'll also find that you are member number 100. Welcome to the club, Kian. From me and the rest of the team at Martin Smith Racing, I hope you have a wonderful day. Merry Christmas. inside rail. Bellastrix the strong, just getting a little bit closer now. The black cap, the dark and red colours. Rather wide out on the track there was Golden Emblem jumping that one. Still towards the rear of the field, Bally Milan and also towards the back, Mr Cuddles. Down then towards the turn out of the back straight. Still a bit of running to do, only two more flights of hurdles to get over though. It's Jessica Rabbit that leads by about a length. Two on the inside. Uh, Fleur de Soy, who's been in the vanguard throughout. Still a big gap here to break the rules in third. Now making nice headway is Mackety from the back of the field. Bit of work to do here as they begin to make the swing for home. And it's Jessica Rabbit that leads to Fleur de Soy in second. Then break the rules. Mackety's received a patient ride. He's getting into it, but could do with finding a few lengths relatively quickly. They're making the turn for home now. It's Jessica Rabbit that's out in front. Fleur de Soy is trying to box on the big white face over on the front side. Then break the rules. Uh, Cliffy Dimitri are getting a little bit closer. Mackety's still with work to do. They've popped over the second last now. There's one. 
one more flight of hurdles left to get over it's got a fellow after the run here now comes break the rules jessica rabbit too much too soon and liffy dale dream of the green cap is staying on really strongly mackady trying hard to get involved down towards the final flight they come break the rules liffy dale dream of these two at it now break the rules a big leap of a five and a left to liffy dale dreamer and there's a race one inside the final half furlong break the rules has got enough in hand i reckon and she goes on to win break the rules the winner liffy dale dreamer was second mackady was third